the world's hip hoppiest oil lobbyist dope at my job i'm a pro no hobbyist and i feel the awfulest man i can't stand the way people misunderstand trans canada damn it bro i'm yelling like tarzan when i hear harsh animosity for our plans yeah we're gonna scar up the land but we're embarked on a grand project we're extracting oil from the tar sands so i had to write rhymes because it's the struggle of a lifetime for energy east and keystone xl i had to pipe up for the pipelines tree huggers chill please try to stress less if there's a spill there'll be a mess yes but then there's a cleanup and that means jobs um that's the opposite of a problem other people say building these pipes is gonna infringe on indigenous rights forcing the Dene, metis and the cree off of their ancestral territory They say we destroy culture and tradition, poisoning the land they live, hunt, and fish in, making them sick and depressed, and to boot, they're left economically destitute. Well, shoot, our oil is so above board that we bought the EarlEthicalOil.org. This crude's harmless, kindly, and sweet. It even helps little old ladies cross streets. And if some native community gets in our way, we'll buy them off cheap with impunity. Oops, huh, foolish me. I mean, we provide short-term development opportunities. Now, still others believe that these projects are only gonna deepen wealthy peeps' pockets, leaving folks hurting from the burden while the oil's only squirting pay dirt out for certain Albertans. Look, I gotta put an end to it. There will be a nation wide economic benefit. Sure, most people won't have it, but we'll be living so dang lavish that we'll jack up the national average. And there's just one final thing. Let me talk to these fools with their minds deranged and chock full of these half-cocked kinds of claims about the insane dangers of climate change. Nature lovers say we'll produce as much carbon as putting like 7 million new cars on the roads each year. Well, haters be damned, we plan to meet Canada's energy demand. And if you hate the pipes and you're not a supporter, we've got some good news for you. You won't even have to think about the barrels we extract, cause almost every one, we're gonna export, huh? And even if you're proven right one day and the temperature climbs too high, then hey, we can hop in our tar sand powered cars, flip on the AC, and drive away. I got protesters in my sight lines demonstrating about the pipelines. They put the mental and environmental. Man, they are not in their right minds. Well, they can go ahead and bite mine, cause we got them in a tight bind. Keep complaining, you're never gonna win, so you can just pipe down about the pipelines. 